from your sweet, dedicated life, your great cooking, your principled and powerful commitment to La Raza, the struggle you recorded so we and others will never forget. Bless your spirit. I'll be looking for your new takes on the YouTube streaming from the other side. Bless your spirit. Adios, compadre. Vaya con Dios. Viva Chris. Viva Chris. Viva Chris. I, I, I was saying that he was always such a cheerful, dependable teddy bear. You could always count on him to be there and be magnifying the movement. I just can't imagine him not being there. Yeah. Everyone used to rely on him for many Yeah, yeah. And now he, now to move on. But this room is full today. We all feel like that. I'm sure your impact on us will be felt much longer than any of us expected. The power of your love and our love back. He invited me into his place and I went out and he gave me an entire education about tomatoes, all these different kinds. He was so informed. And he gave me like these heirloom, heirloom tomatoes, really fancy ones. And he, just, he, he worked so hard. You know, he had a greenhouse set up and he had stuff outside in the field. He was amazing and generous. All that work. I will see him periodically with Mary Ann. Uh, great guy, wish I knew him better. I actually do, but um, kind of I came in on the tail end of this activism. I'm just, uh, you know, riding in their weight kind of. Um, they've been doing this kind of work for years and they all know each other. Um, but uh, I knew Chris. Um, he was uh, 
I would see him in court, man, always filming, really uh, 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 more tied in with the Bradys and, and those groups of people. I just kind of came in and to tell him. A great guy, but I got to tell you the truth, when I see him, most he's been really sick, except for a couple of years earlier when he was uh, doing a lot of camera work and organizing and stuff like that. So, uh, my name's Peter Fortunato, and I've known the McConkeys for most of my life because I went to Cornell as an undergraduate, and Jim McConkey, a uh, great professor of English and a great writer, was my advisor, and he's been my friend since then, since about 1970. So I've known Chris for a lot of that time, and I've known the other brothers too, Larry and Jimmy, and I also remember their mother very, very fond of Gladys. was a very, very dear woman. Why? So the McConkey family uh, is some of the most generous people on the face of the earth. Got to... I can't say that we were close friends, but that was pretty much profoundly respected all the causes that we pursued uh, and so forth. So. And uh, always diligently put Paula's passion into whatever he was doing. So that was, that's how I would have Anyway, knowing Chris was to know Chris in many, many different capacities. Uh, to share mushrooms with him as often as possible. I'm a mushroom lover myself. He was a great mushroom hunter. Many times we had mushroom feasts out at the McConkey picnic tables in the summertime. He was also quite a gardener. He was also for a while a goat farmer and was uh, bottling goat's milk and had a pasteurizing laboratory in the house, if I'm not mistaken. So he was always doing something very interesting. And then lastly, what I would say is the commitment to social justice and the commitment to social activism uh, were really supreme in Chris's life. Uh, he has many people, I'm sure, have said he was involved with the documentarian for many movements, and he was very, very devoted, especially to uh, bridging 
bridging the unfortunate gap between our nation and Cuba. And I'm so glad that in these last days I was able to see that there was and there will be a rapprochement between the United States and between Cuba. So Chris will always be remembered in these various capacities, many facets to this very unusual man. Thank you for listening.